Hi there, today we're going to talk about job output. Your automation can broadcast data from any website. No direct API integration involved. All you need is autopilot. To make a job emit data, use the output action. The data format is up to you. A job can cast as many outputs as you need from any point in the script. Job outputs are mostly used to retrieve information, translate what's on the website into knowledge tailored for your use case, and provide your app with instant feedback. Now, as an example, let us solve today's topics challenge. Let's navigate to it by using the navigate action. Let's label it and use the get input pipe. Previously, I've created in the input panel the URL input with this value. Now, let's switch back to the script panel and select our input key. Now, let's navigate to our challenge. What we have to do is to make a script that extracts all the menu options as an output. When I look at this menu, I see four items listed. We will have to describe those items. I'm thinking about title, description, and ingredients. Now, let's create a new context. Let's rename it and let's set its flow to success. Let's create a matcher and let's create the output action. Let's name it menu items and let's select all the items from the menu by using the query all pipe. Now, a powerful pipe when it comes to building outputs is the object set path pipe. What it does, it evaluates the inner pipeline for each element and assigns the resulting value to the input object at specified path. The inner pipeline must resolve to a single element. Let's name this first path title. Now use the query one to identify the element that corresponds to our item's title. Use the get text pipe to get its value. Now do the same for the rest of the paths. Now, because the output action must resolve to a single element, let's use the list to array pipe to fold our elements to an array. In the end, it will look like this, an array with four elements. Let's play this action. Here in the result panel, you can see how our output looks like. Let's reset the whole thing and play it again. And let's check our result. Well, thank you for your attention.